Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Most welcome to Triangular Kamal Academy. Today we are going to solve here assignment of 13 weeks for the students of standard six. And this is the math assignment three. And this assignment from the chapter two ratio and percentage and content related with the lesson 2.1 to 2.4. Uh, there is a one creative questions including A, B, C and information is given in the right set, which step you have to follow to solve the problems. So let's see first what is the questions, then we will try to answer step by steps very easily. Okay, no problem. Uh, as the current prices of orange has increased by five whole one by seven percent, eight oranges are less available at Taka 552 than before. That means when the price is increased, you will not get the same number of orange what you have bought previously by 522 Taka. That means now 552 taka, you will get eight orange less than the than previous. So now, according to this information, uh, the first questions convert four persons into fractions. Second part in the question A, 15 into ratio. So this question is basically not related with these terms. The convert four persons into fractions and 15 persons into ratio. Then what is the current price of each dozen orange and find the selling price of each dozen oranges at Taka, uh, at Taka 25 volt one by two persons profit. So now first questions, here information answer to the question number A, the percentage into fractions. So four persons means the persons, when we see here person symbols, this means the multiply with one by hundred like a person a person means a multiply with one by hundred three persons three persons means three multiply with one by hundred so in the same way four persons means four multiply with one by hundred so now the dividing by the four four one the four and four twenty five the hundred so one multiply one and twenty five is the denominator here twenty five so now if we convert this percentage into fractions, this one will be one by 25 because this is the fractions and this is also the proper fractions. Now, according to the question's requirement, the second part, convert 15% into the ratio. So now 15% in the same way, 15 multiply one by 100, percentage means one by 100. So now divided by three, uh, five, there is five, three times 15 and five, 20 times. So here three multiply one, three twenty divided by twenty. So here in a fractions, this upper one called the antecedent, and below one is called the subsequent. Here antecedents is t and subsequent is twenty. If we write here antecedents is a and subsequent is b, easily we can write here a ratio b. So actually ratio is nothing but the divide of the first one divided by second one. So dividend and divisor. So here, this is the dividend and dividend is called here antecedent and divisor is called here subsequent. So ratio of three is to three ratio 20. And this is the answer of question number A, second part. So now let's see what is the second question. Second question here, uh, what is the present price of each dozen's oranges? So now according to the question's information, uh, questions information, five whole, one by seven percent increased. The present price increased by five whole, one by seven persons. So th this means the previous and 100 taka, the price increased five whole, one by seven taka. In the same way, like if the 10 percent is increased, that means in 100 taka, in 100 taka, 10 taka is increased. So now, in 100 taka, the price increase five whole one by seven taka. So five whole one by seven taka is the mixed fractions uh, convert into the improper fractions. Five multiply seven, 35 plus one, 36. Uh, seven, uh, five seven is 35, then plus one, 36 by seven. So in 100 taka, price increases 36 by seven taka. So in one taka, that means price increases uh, divided by 100 unitary method. So in according to questions requirement in 552 taka, so now then price increases 
uh, 36 divided by 7 multiply 100, then multiply 552. So now here, just we have to do simple calculation here. So uh, this number 36 is divided by 4 and also 100 is divided by 4. 36 is divided by 4 will be 9, 100 divided by 4, there will be 25. So there is no any single divisor which can divide 9 uh, or 552 or 7 or 25. So now multiply all numbers of and uh, antecedents parts 9 multiply 25 and 7 multiply, uh, sorry, 9 multiply 525, 7 multiply 5, 25, there will be now. This is, this is the this is the increased price. In 552 taka, this price will increase. So now, this information here, we know one dozen equals to 12 items. As the current price has increased, the eight oranges are less available at taka 552 than before. This means by ethyl taka, you will get eight oranges less than previous. If you uh, if you bought 100 taka previously, now by the same uh, by the same amount or by the same taka, you will get here now 80. Uh, this is the 92, 92 oranges. That means previously, if you uh, get 100 oranges, now you will get here 92 uh, oranges in the same taka because now price is increased. So now this uh, here, the price increase is atotaka. That means the price increase is atotaka, then orange less is eight. The price increase atotaka, orange less is eight. That means this, this amount changes the number of oranges here. This amount changes or reduce the number of oranges is eight. So that means this taka is, is the cost price or is the cost price or the selling price of uh, eight oranges. So now according to the question information here, we can write the present price. So now present price of eight oranges is equals to Takayato, present price of one oranges. Right here, present price of one oranges is Takayato and one dozen means 12 items. So present price of 12 oranges is Takayato. Just doing the simple calculation here, uh, 12 is divided by 4, 3, 8 is divided by 4, 2. Then now 4,968 divided by 2, you will get here 2,484. So now multiplying a first number and below number, you will get this one. So here, uh, this is the improper fractions. Now convert it into the mixed fractions. Your answer will be 42 whole, 102 by 175. So this is this is the price, uh, present price of one dozen orange. So according to the questions, this is our answer. So the selling price, uh, the selling price of each dozen oranges is 42 whole, 102 by 75 taka. That is, this is our answer. So I think now here whole question is visible. I think you can also take this screenshot of the second button. Now, uh, what is the requirement of the third questions? Uh, let's see here first. Uh, find the selling price, find the selling price of each dozen oranges as Takayato. So to find the selling price, we have to find the cost price. Like suppose this is the cost price. Uh, first time he sell, first time he sell here, 42 whole and 102 by 175 taka of 12 items, oranges. This is the first price. Now he want to sell at 25 whole one by 2% profit. Now what will be the new selling price of the each dozen oranges? There is, so we have to include here, 25 whole one by 2% profit. So what do you mean by the 25 whole one by 2%? That means the 100 taka if the cost price, then selling price must be 100 plus 25 whole one by two. In the same way, like is the 10% profit. If the cost price is 100 taka, the selling price will be 
110 taka. So now, by using this information, and we have to solve the next question, question number three. So now this is the answer to the question number three. Uh, at 25 whole, one by two percent profit. If the cost price, if the cost price is 100 taka, then selling price will be this one. So now, uh, if the cost price is one taka, then selling price uh, first here 100, and this is the mixed pressions converted into the improper pressions, then doing the LCM and simple calculation. This is the result. So if the cost price is one taka, then selling price will be this one. Uh, if the cost price is at taka, this is from answer B. The cost price is at taka, then selling price will be this one. Now, please do not do the calculation here, but because this is the mixed fractions. So first step, we have to convert this mixed fractions into improper fractions. Then we can find the reduced from. Okay, now from the previous question's answer, uh, we can write this one. Uh, 42 whole 102 by 75 means 7,452 divided by this one. Just doing the divide by the four and 425 times 100, uh, four 1,861 three times will be this one. Now multiply upper numbers and the below numbers, you will get this is the fractions and convert this one into the mixed fractions. So add 25 and half percent profit, 53 whole, uh, 3,800, 3,863 by 8,750 will be the selling price of each dozen oranges. So now just right here, uh, arrange the answer. So now selling price of, selling price of each dozen oranges at 25 whole one by 2 percent profit is taka ato. And this is our answer. So actually uh, this math calculation is so large, but Processing is, is very easy. So my dear students, I hope you have understood this math properly. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, let me know in the comment section. Hope to see you all in the next content and wish you all the best. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.